Miss China. <laughs> How can they call this Miss Universe? No other planets are represented here. <laughs> Unless. Who are these women? And where do they come from? Oh, no. I don't think Miss USA came from a mall in Long Island. <laughs> hey, look at her. Her hair's bigger than Miss China. Yeah, you know, I liked Miss Turkey, but is speed walking really a talent? <laughs> you know, I hear it's much easier to get into these things when you're from a small country. Like, say, like, a, you're a young Latvian woman and you got good teeth. <laughs> they send you to the pageant. <laughs> hey, where's Miss Chili? Oh, wow. I wonder if Diego knows her. <laughs> what? She's from Chile, he's from Chile. Like, they couldn't have run into each other at the store? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll say this. That girl's got some big old ta-ta. Yeah, she did. <laughs> 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 How'd you get Whoa. those babies through customs? <laughs> <laughs> Probably had to pick them up with the odd and oversized baggage. Yeah. <laughs> are naturally pretty anyway. They all use tricks, like you know, like duct tape to lift up their boobs and Vaseline on their teeth to make them glisten. Vaseline? Mm. Does that work? Oh. I don't know. I think I have some. You do? You try it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> See, no. This doesn't make me feel pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're looking at the balls. The trick is to just look beyond the balls. Right? Beyond the balls. Go ahead. Okay. Beyond the balls. Beyond the balls. No, just you're looking at the balls. Well, how can I not look at the balls? They're in my face. <laughs> Wait a second. Watch me. All right. All right. Okay. Beyond the balls. Beyond, beyond the balls. Beyond the balls. Beyond the balls. Right. You are totally looking at the balls. Yeah, okay. You kind of have to look at the balls. You kind of have to look at the balls. Hey, do you want to go to the movies tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, uh, I, 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 huh. I, I can't. Why? I, I have, the, I have this. Um, I have. What? I'm hiding something. All right, then it is my job to get it out of you. So first, I'm going to play a good cop, bad cop. <laughs> then I will play a no sex for a week cop. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> My parents, they're coming into town. What? Yeah, they're coming in from Chile and they're gonna stay here a few days. Well, why are you hiding that from me? What, do you not want me to meet them or something? No, 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 no. it's the opposite. I don't want you to meet them. <laughs> okay, those aren't opposites. I just, I mean, there's been a lot of friction between me and my parents. You know, ever since I moved here, I just, I really wanted to spare you of that. Come on, I'm your girlfriend. Your problems are my problems, all right? They just... My parents never approved of me becoming an artist, and, uh, you know, they wanted me to stay in Chile and help with my father's business, you know? Yeah. What does he do? Uh, he makes wheels. Oh, so he's a lawyer. <laughs> no, wheels. We wheels. Wheels. The, the round things, Jesse. Oh, wheels. <laughs> Why don't you say that? Okay, uh, it's the largest Hui Hills. <laughs> company in Chile, they, they export all over the world. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. What are you doing here? All <laughs> oh, right, right, the art thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're just, they're very old fashioned. They're very conservative people. I just, I just want this whole visit to go through, you know, without any confrontations. You know what? Let me help you, okay? I'll make sure that they have a great time. I mean, if they're having fun, they're not gonna bother you. And I am a great buffer. Buffer? <laughs> buffer.
part. See? How do you like it? Oh. So, meeting the parents, huh? Nervous? Yeah. What if they don't like me? Oh, come on, Jess. Why wouldn't they like you? You're having sex with their son. <laughs> Oh, my God. Look at this place. What happened? Dad, you're back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. How was your trip? Don't change the subject. <laughs> what did you do to my bar? Well, we thought we'd do better as a college bar. I mean, this is a great place for them to blow their student loan money. <laughs> I don't mean to be negative, but uh, can you change it back? That would require something called a reverse yard sale. I can't believe this. I leave town for a couple of weeks and everything goes to hell. Hey, beautiful. Hi. What's worse than hell? Oh, hey, John. Welcome back. How are you doing? <laughs> Isn't there anything in this place that's the same? We still have those signs above the urinals that say, we aim to please, you aim to please. <laughs> Do you want to go look at them? That would be nice. <laughs> I thought you had to go pick up your parents from the airport. Uh, yeah, my parents' flight got delayed, so they're not coming until 7. Don't you have a class to teach at 7? Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm just going to send a uh, car service to pick them up. A car service? Yeah. Come on, you can't let a stranger go pick up your parents. No, no, it's fine. It's a really great service, actually. You know, when they pick you up, they give you a free bucket of chicken. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll go pick them up. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, I, yeah, it's I fine. cannot ask you to do this. It's no. fine, it's fine. And really. How bad could your parents be, huh? You turned out pretty good. Yeah, so did Jeff Mussolini. Hey, I've heard about you guys. Hola, hola. Someone los Vasquez. Vasquez. Película muy buena, el Truman Show. <risa> me, me encanta Jim Carrey. Buenos días, y si no los veo, buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. Perfect. Right, okay, well, terrific. Um, Diego's working tonight, so we're just going to go back to my place. Um, uh, you, Vango, mi casa. casa. Sí, sí, mi casa, mi casa. Okay, so why don't we go get your luggage and then we'll go. Um, luggage. Uh, bagos. <laughs> Bag. Yo -de yo. <laughs> Forget it. Let's just go. <laughs> Mama Vasquez is making us dinner. It's like watching Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. Only with meat. Uh, Senora Vasquez? Uh, Senora Vasquez? Si. Come here, I, I wanted to uh, give you these presents to welcome you to Buffalo. <laughs> Ruthie! Ruthie! <laughs> Jesse, I wonder why yet. Dad, you live here. Yeah, but I was away. Yeah, and I miss you so much. <laughs> yeah, like that'll keep me warm. Hey. Hi. Hey, honey, it is going so well. I don't even know what you were worried about. Your parents are great, and they're, they're having a wonderful time. Ah, uh, that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. But those are not my parents. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, could you page them again, please? Yes, Pedro and Rosa Vasquez. Are you sure that these aren't your parents? Oh, yeah, well, I haven't seen them since Christmas, and... Yes, of course, I'm sure! Well, I don't understand what happened. I mean, I had a sign that said Vasquez. Oh, Jesse, it's a flight from Chile. Everybody's Vasquez. That's like holding up a sign in a prison that says, Bad guy. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's, it's okay. I'm just stressed out, all right? It was an honest mistake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God, they, they found them. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diego! Hola, mamá. Viene vino a Buffalo. Uh, diablo con Buffalo. Mira, te quiere quitar el equipaje. Sí. 
Sí, mamá, sí, mamá. Yo cumpliendo los síntomas. Mucho sobre eso. Tell her I'm excited to meet her. Yo, 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 mamá, mamá, no, cálmese, mamá, cálmese, cálmese. Mamá, uh, Jessie está muy... She's excited too. I just want to crawl under the covers. Oh, no, 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 Jesse. Don't you give up on me now, okay? You're, you're the buffer. What? Buffer? No, 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 no. I can't buff this. This, this, this is unbuffable. <laughs> if these aren't his parents, then who are they? I think they're tourists who now think America is the friendliest place on Earth. <laughs> you know what? Let's just uh, go to the airport, uh, pick up my actual parents, give them something to eat. Maybe this whole thing will just blow over. Well, tell them I said I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not coming? Are you kidding? They must hate me now. I was going so well with your other parents. No, not my parents. You didn't even give them a chance. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll come with you, okay? Thank you. All right, you guys, we're going to the airport. We'll be back in about an hour. Listen, I'm... I'm sorry that this didn't work out. I mean, if it was up to me, you would... Which it's not. <laughs> anyway, good luck. What do they have to go? Because Diego refuses to accept them. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Because they're complete strangers. How can you say that about Abuela and Poppy? Yeah, it's uh, it's not going to be the same around here without you guys. Nope. Think they'll write me? Sure. You're the favorite. <laughs> Vasquez, I am so sorry. I really am. And I'm so sorry that your bags got stolen and... Oh, Jesse, no, no, it's okay. No, no, these things happen. Nobody's blaming you. I'm blaming her. <laughs> Mama, please. No, what? We were at the airport for three hours and now we have to buy new underwear. I'm so sorry. Did you know what I do when I travel? I, I take my carry-on, but then I pack some essentials in there just in case... So your husband's in the wheels game. You know, when I was looking for my bag, a woman pointed at me. Pointed? Dad, what are you talking about? A scrawny woman pointed at your father. Era un espanto blanco como un perro hambriento sin sentimiento. What did she say? Uh, she said the woman was a white ghost, like a starving dog with no feelings. <laughs> ah, of course. Diego, I still don't understand why you would move to such a horrible place. Doesn't this city have the highest suicide rate in the country? Actually, that's Seattle. Oh, then it's just me that wants to kill myself. <laughs> Mama, please, just give the city a chance, okay? You've only seen the airport. And whose fault is that? <laughs> what kind of wheels are these? They sound cheap. Wheels are fine, Dad. I hear a whistle, then it clicks. It's okay. It's okay. I, I don't. I, I don't hear anything. That. That's because you don't know anything about wheels. <laughs> I don't know anything. I, I, I'm. I'm so ignorant on the subject of wheels. I, I am so ashamed. You should be. You never liked wheels. Dad, I do not want to get into this again. Okay? Can we not do this now, please? Who's hungry? <laughs> we ate at the airport. A cup of soup cost thirty dollars. I found a tooth in mine. <laughs> I was uh, thinking about taking us all to dinner. <laughs> I, I, I know this great place. You're gonna love it. it. They put on a show, and then the food is excellent. And the cook has no teeth, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, we got it. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm standing there, and she's pointing at me and gesturing to her friend. Then they both start laughing and pointing. Yeah, yeah that's outrageous. Excuse me one minute. Jesse, do you think it would be weird if we just sat them at another table? Hey, don't give up now, okay? Look, I, I know things aren't going so well, but maybe it'll all work out after we eat. They're, okay? just, they're just so impossible. But they're... They're in a new country. They're nervous. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I bet you they're more scared of you than you are of them. Jesse, they're not, they're not squirrels. <laughs> if they bother 
bother you so much. Why don't you go talk to them? Oh, there's no point. They're, they're not going to change. It's, look, I just want this over. Uh, Warner? Yes, we are Warner. Is your whole party here? Oh, yeah, we're all here. Right there. She pointed at me. <laughs> Vasquez, would you like some of my lamb? Oh, my father used to raise lambs. You know what they do to those poor little creatures? They hang them up by their feet. They slit them down the middle and they let them die as slowly. That way the meat is more tender. Uh, how about a mushroom? They just pick those. Tell me, Diego, when are you going to stop playing with your paints and help run the business? Oh, we've gone over this, all right? Look, I've just been made an assistant professor, okay? That, that, that's very prestigious. And, and uh, you know who said to say hello? Sophia. That's nice, Mom. Who's Sophia? She's this wonderful girl who had a mad crush on Diego, but Diego, he could care less. Sophia's picking us up from the airport. She's probably there already. <laughs> Do you both know that uh, Jesse here, she has a son. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's nine. He is so sweet. And, so and what happened to the father? Well, um, we were divorced. Divorce? Divorce is not acceptable in this family. Diego's father and I have been married for 32 years. We don't enjoy it, but it is tradition. <laughs> well, uh, Jesse's ex-husband was a very horrible guy. You think your father's Julio Iglesias? <laughs> sure, we had our problems, but nothing supersedes the sanctity of marriage. <laughs> I think that my ex-husband thought that the sanctity of marriage sort of got in the way of him sleeping with other women. Let's, uh, let's talk about something. Did you, did you know that it's the male seahorse that gives birth to the babies? You're kidding. Look, um, I know that we got off on the wrong foot after the whole airport fiasco, okay? But... Please don't judge me by what happened before. I mean, here we are, we're at this nice restaurant, and I really want to show you a good time. Okay? Oh, she was dirty. And now, for the first time ever, the Silver Cup proudly presents, direct from Paris, La Pegra. over with okay i'm an idiot i'm a moron your parents hate me you hate me i hate me just but t gray seemed to like me i just had a uh, long talk with my parents but diego i am so sorry i mean i know that you were just trying to get through this trip without any confrontations Jesse, 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 and I... shh, shh, listen to me i just told them that if they ever treat you like that again they can go back to chile and stay there forever you did? Yeah. I told them that this, this is the woman that I love, and they should consider you a member of the family, or I won't be. You love me? Well, it's, it's what I told them. <laughs> you don't? I do. Do you think in the end they they start to like me? I mean, just just a little bit. No. <laughs> 